This afternoon, a vigil is getting ready to start for an elementary school student who died after choking on her lunch in the school cafeteria. Our Ariel Placencia joins us live outside the Highlands Elementary School to show us how that little girl is being remembered today and what school officials are doing to step up student safety after this just heartbreaking story there, Ariel. Yeah, Jason, this is an emotional day for this community. In about 30 minutes, that balloon release and vigil is going to get underway. We've already seen people arrive with balloons to honor that little four-year-old. Now, school staff tells us that she loved all colors of the rainbow. So today, Cedar Hill ISD asked their students and staff to wear rainbow colors in honor of little Maria. Now, school officials say the young girl died after choking on a piece of food at lunch on Friday. Now in a statement, the Cedar Hill ISD superintendent said the district's athletic department does provide annual CPR training to campus staff that nurses and cafeteria managers are all trained in both CPR and the Heimlich maneuver, but that they will do more. He added the district is also researching some of the choking rescue devices that have been brought to their attention. Again, as I mentioned, that balloon release scheduled for about 430. We're going to be there. Jason, certainly going to be an emotional, emotional afternoon, and I'll have more coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. All right, Ariel, and hopefully other school districts are paying attention to this as well, and maybe some best practices uh, can come out of this at the very least. Thank you.